Now an exclusive from your local election headquarters, Congressman Joe Kennedy will step aside in January after eight years of representing Massachusetts' 4th Congressional District. In his first sit-down TV interview since losing the September primary for U.S. Senate, Kennedy talks with our politics editor Ted Nisi about what went wrong and what's next. Among other topics, they discussed what Kennedy learned during his eight years representing cities like Fall River, Attleboro, and Taunton. Here's some of their conversation. What do you think holds back after thinking about it for eight years, talking to leaders, business leaders, et cetera? Do you have any new insights or anything that, that really stayed with you about why it's been hard for you know, Fall River, the South Coast, to, to advance economically anywhere near the way we see in greater Boston? Look, I think a big part of that is um, uh, two, well, two main factors. One, the lack of willingness for policymakers that are focused um, on the major economic engine of the region, which is Boston, to just continue to focus on the issues that plague Boston and not realize that communities like Fall River, like New Bedford, like Taunton and the Attleboro's provide uh, opportunity for growth that can strengthen Boston, not just take away resources from it. And it is that shift in thinking that I think is so needed and necessary in order for that to happen. You need folks that are able to make the case to some of those folks on Beacon Hill and in Washington, D.C. Um, so you think that's real, the feeling down here sometimes that this area gets overlooked oh, 100%. as people focus on Boston, you as someone who talks to both sides, so to speak. 100% of the Senate gets overlooked. Ted, Boston is now has the worst commute in the country pre-COVID, had the worst commute in the country, had, was the third most gentrified city in the nation. What that means is people that actually power the city, that work in the city, can't afford to live there anymore. So they get priced further and further out, and so the commutes in get worse and worse. Well. If you actually were able to make good on an investment like South Coast Rail, now all of a sudden, Route 24 is in a disaster every morning.